Well, good morning and welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, world champion soprano singer Priti Yende has earned standing ovations performing on world stages and shared the stage with the likes of Andrea Bocelli. Talk about name dropping. But Priti's, ta Priti's talent has uh, and her perseverance has taken her from Peter Tief all the way to Metropolitan Opera Houses in New York and the prestigious Academia della Scala in the Milano, where she, of course, is building her reputation one note at a time. And what a privilege it is to have her here with us. Welcome to the show. Grazie, buongiorno. Buongiorno. Oh, buongiorno, buongiorno, signorita. <laughs> That's as far as my as my Italian goes. But I'm I'm glad to have you on the show, and not just that, but, but because you're back in South Africa, and you're encouraging young people as well. Because recently you spoke to some 350 young people in Cape Town uh, in with the Cape Town Opera's outreach and community program. Tell me about exactly how, what happened there. We had a rare opportunity to share my story, yeah. and I got this opportunity via the British Airways because mm -hmm. I'm here um, singing tonight at the High Commissioner um, tonight. Um, uh, the garden party yes. and so I had the opportunity to share my story yesterday with kids from around Cape Town yeah. and the idea behind it is just to say that anything is possible. Wow. I came from Petro Teeth and I had no idea that the world was so huge that I could go so far mm. and it's time for me to come back and say hey you have to dream even bigger Yes, you know because we are having so many possibilities now more than ever. Yeah and what was that reception like when you were talking to those children? I'm sure they were enthralled hanging on your every single word. It was emotional because for some seconds I saw myself 13 years ago before I knew anything about opera. Wow. It was really emotional to see the potential that you know any one of us has got something inside of us. Yeah. There's some awesomeness within us. Yes. And we just need to tap into it and I like that. make the to, world a better place. Hashtag that there's an awesomeness <laughs> inside of us. But when you look back at those 13 years and you look at how far your career has progressed, what do you think has been that key to your success? Passion. It has been passion and a lot of hard work, of course. Mm. But the curiosity of just finding out how can I make you feel this amazing feeling I felt when I heard the opera for the first time? Yeah. How can I share that with you? Because I come from a very loving family. Yeah. I grew up very well, and, you know, and so I have had something that I could not touch, that yes. I could not see, but I just needed you to feel it. Mm. And I knew that it was uh, you know, um, humanly possible from you know, asking my, my, my teacher in high school at the time. Yeah. And so I said, well, I need to do it. And mm. that's what I've been trying to do since then. Yeah. Now, you said tonight you're performing at the High Commissioner, C Commissioner's High um, Garden Party. Garden Party. But let's talk, do you remember the first time that you got onto one of these big stages? I don't know if it was an opera house in London or New York, where that was. Describe that, that day to me. Well, the first, first big, big night where I almost lost everything. <laughs> what do you mean you almost lost everything? <laughs> because it was the first time I sang with an orchestra. Yes. The Department of, Ed of Education had introduced opera to schools yes. in 2001. And I got a chance to go to Durban to mm -hmm. sing with the orchestra for the first time and had not seen the conductor, I had not even seen the orchestra, I never knew what the orchestra was, mm -hmm. and we didn't get a chance to rehearse. Oh, I was no. so tormented. I will never forget that day because that, no then I days. knew, <laughs> then I knew what it means, like how big this world is. Yeah. It's not just the voice, but it's everything else with the voice. Yeah. We quickly flashed a picture of you there, standing <laughs> side by side with none other than the great Andrea Bocelli. What was that moment like? I mean, oh. It was life changing. I uh, I've come to to sum it up and say it's a pretty journey because each and every step has been amazing. You know, Cinderella story didn't only happen to her. I'm having my own Cinderella oh, moment beautiful. now in this time. You know, so it has been really, really awesome. Did you get to chat to him afterwards? Hasn't Absolutely. The first time I sang with him was here actually when we had the the, the World Cup in 2010. So yes. that was the first concert that we did together. And I was just in awe that out of all the people that can stand beside him, yeah. I was, you know, I got the privilege to be there and sing with him. It has been really awesome. Did you even try your Italian on him a little Ma bit? Ma certo, because at the time I could speak Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ma certo, what does that mean? But of course. But of course. So, wow, Priti is, is, is learning, I've just learned now, uh, German and Italian. So wait, how do you say, this is espresso? If you say in, 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 in Italian, yeah. Questo è un espresso. Questo è un espresso. Esatto. Oh, esatto, my <laughs> certo, of course. Okay, so last thing very quickly is that you are working on your album. 
Yes. And you're recording right now. So what's that process been like? Because you're used to big stages, now you're in a studio and you're recording music. I think it's another learning curve because I, I am not used to recording. Uh, it's a different type of art, I guess. Yes. Because I'm told that certain things that I can do live is not the same as doing it in the recording. Uh -huh. So I'm looking forward to see the journey of how I can actually use my voice in ways that I could not possibly use when I'm, using, when yes. I'm singing live. So I'm excited about it. Mm -hmm. We're recording with Sonic Classics. In, uh, in August and coming up next year. Listen, so it's I'm great to have you that. and thank you for coming around to inspire our youth. And as Pretty said, there's an awesomeness in every one of us, so you believe it too. <laughs> you and in, including you.